another re-escape of the planet tank um, because I noticed there was something about the other um, Aqua Escape that I didn't like so I changed it uh, but I didn't really know uh, what so if you don't like your Aqua Escape just change it immediately because you can always get something better by you know uh, get better by doing you know so um, alright so I'm going to explain this um, little Aqua Escape I got rid of my Molly and my Puffer. My Puffer is over here. Um, he's going to be sold in a couple of days. Um, he's going to be here in max um, like seven days. Um, and uh, he got a lot of plants, some Melodia, some Kabamba, some Linophila, and then he got a boulder down there. And it is brackish water. Um, I put salt down there, some uh, reef crystals, and he's going great. I mean, he's getting a white belly. Um, yesterday he had a completely white belly, but he just woke up. Um, I just turned on the lights here in the room, so he's woke up. He has woke up now, and um, you know he seems to be doing pretty well. He thinks he has enough enough space in here. Um, he also does. He has a lot of places where he can uh, chill. Oh, sorry for that. Chill up there. Um, I'm going to feed him some Matemia in a moment. Um, but <clears throat> let's talk about this aquascape here because. Um, I got rid of my molly and fed it to the ciglets because it was chasing my discus. You know how I am. If there's anything that chase my discus, I'm going to take it, pull it out of the tank, and give it to the ciglets. That is how I roll. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you can't avoid that when you are a fish of Boy World Fish Tank. So, no, no, kitty! Kitty, what are you doing, kitty? Kitty, stop it. Anyhow. Um, so this, I'm going to buy some new fish as well, so I'm going to get some rams, and some money and tetras and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I'll see if the discus can survive, because he has gotten pretty torn up. He, um, the uh, molly was basically catching him in a corner, I can't find him right now, but he's catching him in a corner, and in that corner he's just beating him up and he can't do anything, the discus is just not able to move. Um, and then he just, yeah, he just dies after some time. What are you doing, kid? Kitty cat. He found a drinking straw. Stop it. Stop it, it's my drinking straw. He's crazy. Anyway, um, so explanation of this aquascape. Yeah, I try to make a triangle that goes down like this. Um, and we got the reds going over here with the Ludwigia and the Crips. Um, then we got some jungle vowel here in front of the driftwood, some that I just had left that didn't grow very well. Um, but now it got more light. There's also some in the back here. I'm going to move that one because the sword is coloring it. Um, I don't really like this sword. I would know what you guys would f uh, think I should do with it. Where should I place it? I don't know if I want to place it there. Um, because, But I... <laughs> I feel like I want a lot of um, jungle ball at that at that area um, when I get enough of it. Um, but you know, it has to grow first, and it's not a very quick to, uh, grower. But I got you two running here. Um, as we're talking, I'm uh, sitting and um, configuring out how much this should come out. Um, there we go. All right, so. Um, yeah, I've been dosing a lot of iron, some uh, some uh, carbon, and so of course my uh, CO2, and the plants are going pretty well. Um, I gotta say that they're going pretty well. Um, I only got one Elodia here just because I thought it was a cool plant. Um, the rest of them I put down to my puffer because it is a cold water plant, um, and uh, not because it's going to be cold down in the uh, puffer glass. Um, but it's going to be about at uh, 23 deg degrees Celsius, that is what my room temperature is. Um, and these guys can tolerate everything, so, um, you know, they will grow quickly in a couple of days. Um, but, yeah, my, my angel fish are doing good, and uh, all the other fish are doing well as well. Um, but, I think that I wanted to talk about is that um, I really want to make this into a South American secret tank. Um, I'm still going to keep the gubbies, the Halicreep Resboros, the Tetras, you know, because they're one of my favorite fish in a planet tank. Um, and I'm of course also going to keep the better, um, but I will get some South American cichlids, some rams, um, maybe some fire mouths. Um, we'll see what happens, but it's going to be amazing. Um, it's going to be a good tank, man. It's going to be very, very nice. My cat just 
Stop it! Ruby! You just see him right there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so um, I really like the driftwood aquascape here with the stick going out here and with a lot of roots going around it here with the Mopani wood. Um, it's going very good. Um, and then we got some driftwood here with some java moss on it um, just to fill out some space over there. So, uh, yeah. See you guys in another video.